What about this, this uh, Patagonia dollar? Dollar works for me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Saturday, and we're going yard sailing first off. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. We're doing the yard sale caravan, garage sale caravan, where we basically get as many people together as possible in a line, and we go from yard sale to yard sale. Swamp it. This is actually more like the locust day and then the, the day we go to the thrift stores So that's what we're doing. We're gonna be meeting in the Goodwill parking lot We're gonna be yard sailing until 11. It's more about social yard sailing than like making money answering questions and Just having a good time lunch at taco deli at 11 o'clock And then we're going to be going to a place called Brutorium for a couple of, from two to four. We're going, then we're going to a place called Gordo's where we're gonna get donuts. At 9.30, we're going to a brewery. So, I'm actually really sleepy because we were up later last night, and this is always the hardest morning to get up to. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna be late. You, did you upload your video? Uh, is it rendering? Did Chris mess it up? Yeah, I like, shut it right there. Oh, what an idiot. Look at that sun, beautiful. Look at that lens flare, it's all natural lens flare. A dot, 7.30. Garage sale is gonna stand a chance. We got all of these people. Are we taking Helga? No, we've got the Prius V. The 2014 Ooh. Prius V. Oh, the Prius V, right? Yeah, that's a Lambo. Look, it's like all stretched and low to the ground. With the custom child in the back. He brought the merch. Look at that. That looks good. Yeah, that's why I always check it in. Nice, look at that. Ready? I need. There we go. Nice. We are over 30 bodies going to this garage sale. So that's gonna be 60 hands touching all the items and overwhelming people. This is gonna be incredible. There, Aaron. Got a scanner, man. Thanks. I like that shirt. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. The squad is forming at the first yard sale. The lady has no idea what's gonna hit her. They have no idea. You set this up. I did not set this up. <laughs> this is my friend Alice. She's been pur she's been purging all her stuff. She has some really cool vintage stuff. Let's go! It's like a biblical plague of yard sale grass havers. <laughs> were you scared when we were all coming your way? <laughs> like I was gonna call the police, but then I saw Matt and I was like, oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Cool, yeah, definitely knew that. That's cool. No, yeah, grab it, dude. Grab yeah, you can have it, yeah. Really? Oh, dude, I appreciate it. This will go to my uh, firstborn child. <laughs> it's older, too. Super cool, man, I appreciate that. The OGC just found me this Patagucci down uh, kid's jacket. No children yet, but one day, get a nice little hand meet. Hand me down tag. <laughs> okay, so how much for the jacket? Uh five dollars. I'll do it. Alright. Not even not even gonna have to negotiate. My wife's gonna be stoked. I'm gonna send her a picture. Isn't that the cutest? So five bucks. Five and fifteen. Fifteen, thank you. Thank you. So OGC resale found it for me. And uh this it looks great, small, honestly. But... It looks great. Yeah, there are. It's a fashion statement. This is like the tool table. F100. Those are cool badges. The metal? Yeah. Not often you see the 100. You yeah. usually see the 150. Which means that these are probably a nice one. That's really cool. So Dennis, you got some connects. Is that brand new? It is. Cool. How much was it? Eight bucks. Eight bucks, but it's brand new. Yeah. Can't, and, uh, it's for my kids. For the kids. So, yeah. You can't do it. Yeah. This is for my future kids. There you go. So. <laughs> it's seriously going. It's actually. Oh, a kid one? Yeah. Oh. It's seriously going in my closet. It's like, probably worth like 30 bucks or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Let it go to their rent that they don't want to pay anymore. Like, he automatically like, takes it. Yeah. Play, 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 play Monopoly with the place. <laughs> <laughs> can you make us toast later? Yeah, man. Sweet. Sweet. Definitely. <laughs> All right, we're at our other sale, and there's a plant of rosemary right here. It smells so good. There's three garage sales, one there, one there, and one here. We're all gonna congregate in the middle, and then we're gonna split up. Yep. Here's Chris. Shane just found a tea snap. What about this, this uh, Patagonia dollar? Dollar works for me. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, uh, at a dollar. What a score. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Look at the cups. Yeah. No pillow. No pillow. Patagonia. So Shane, the most blessed man in Austin. Oh lordy, he just copped one. Not one, but two and it's true. <laughs> the first time I've ever had a free cup of coffee at a yard sale. I always get it for like 50 cents. I, I was going to help you guys move it, but you got it. So they're moving that. She's going to hook me up with a cup of coffee for free. Free 99. This is one of the most fun events we do every year. We're all going to garage sales learning about cool stuff. There's a, a very little competitive vibe in the air. There's, it's hardly any competition. It's all about learning and 
networking and having fun. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're <laughs> Thank welcome. you. She gave me a cup of coffee. You know, comps go anywhere from 25 to a couple hundred. It just depends on quality, I guess. Okay. Yeah. How much you buy this stuff for? Uh, seven total. Is that an old one? Yeah. It is an older one, yeah. She, it looks like Slobby Robbie a little bit. <laughs> Slobby Very cool. Robbie. Very cool. Garbage still good? Oh, man. We're going to be talking about the fear video. that is involved it's with uh, you quick. Thanks. You got to have free people with tags? Yes. Awesome. Amazing. Awesome. And it's black. You can't get better yeah. than that. Yeah, you can. Margaret, did you find anything? Oh, yeah, I did. I got some jewelry, Ooh. and then I got this cool, like, art deco. Oh, cool. Lady. All right, back to the cars. On to the next sale. Amazon and then this book, great condition, good rank, going for like 24, so should okay. probably make a million. All right, we're in duplex neighborhood, which means this sale is probably not going to be that good. It's tiny. There's like 100 people going at them. It's nicely laid out. I like that. Very colorful. There you go. Some kid, kitty North Face embroidered. Oh, I'll take that iPod mini. Is it 10 bucks? We found this old iPod mini. Q just grabbed some stuff. I know this guy. I know this guy. What did you do that for, a dollar? Oh, yeah. What's Oliver. up, man? Oliver, nice to meet you. Q, nice to meet you. Okay, okay, thanks. What do we got? Pikmin 3. Oh, we nice. got Pikmin. Yeah. What's up, Shane? What's up, brother? Pikmin 3. Headset. Sorry. Let's see how much how much you pay for him. Oh, she's selling it for cheap. It is organic. This is the number one yard sailor. The number in one. Austin. In in Austin. I am number one. Alright, let's see how much we can get this iPod for. Could you do a buck on it? No. Five bucks? Ten. And you're 100% sure it charges and everything? Yeah, we can. Do you want me to, I could charge it real fast if you want and just see. Uh, sure, you can't do five. Yeah, let's do ten. Okay, I'll pass. Okay. I'll walk. Thank you. <laughs> Messed up little screen or like the Apple logo won't boot up. Like doesn't matter. Wait, so how much? Is, how much? How much did they you sell? For? For, they sell pretty good individually, right? How much yeah, did you get it for? Seven bucks. People love iPod lots, man. On eBay, they convert those into yeah. compact flash ones. There's a hack. Just tell me a little bit about what you got. Oh, you want to hear something interesting? Yeah. So this was actually in the baby category. Really? And I was restricted on my app. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you can actually click through to get ungated instantly. And it says I, like learn more. Yeah, and I learned I learn more and, <laughs> and it auto-approved me. Oh, nice. Maybe. Right it's usually it'll ask you for an invoice. So uh, I'll scan it in the car and see if I can do the same. It's only going for 10 bucks, so I'll make like three or four hours, but. We're at the next garage sale. Steve is controlling people traffic. Everyone's foaming at the mouth, ready to go get it. Oh, yard sale. Oh people are Treasures. So Whoa! I just saw that. What does it say? It says thrift flip. Ship, right, repeat, go? empire. Ooh. That's, that's a lot of wording. <laughs> that's wisdom. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Have you ever read that chapter in the Bible where the locusts come and... This is it. Oh, there's some Guitar Hero. Sweet! Is that PS2? No, oh, that's a Wii. That's a Wii! It might still be good. It's in box. So the price on Amazon for the cheapest is 40 but with the box and everything, I bet you could get closer to like 65, 70. I'd have to create an Amazon account. Or your uh, SpongeBob creator's dead, so that one might be all right. Remember these back in the day? The sockets? This one might be good. Just grab them all. They're all PS, PS1. This one's probably decent. Bundling it with all the games. Yeah. Oh, the games? Yeah, there's a bunch of PS1 games over there. You just put it all together. We're saving the world one <laughs> item at a time. I love it. Is it going to work? I don't. I don't. It rides kind of like a snowboard. You just kind of like float around. Oh, it's an ice crusher. Ice crusher. Like, okay, that's gonna go in your booth, obviously. Some Tom's, Tom's. Tom's. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that could be like a thirty bucks sale right there, maybe more. It gives you yes or no. It asks. It you guesses what you're thinking. Done with that yard sale. We're going to Goodwill, so so everybody can take a little tinkle. Done yard sailing. We're going to the Central Austin Goodwill, and I just noticed. Check out this. This is really cool. The signage. It says good right there, right? You see that? Good. This is probably the best architecture I've ever seen in a Goodwill. You walk over here, I'm gonna hit it from a different angle and you're gonna see this. And then on this side it says Will. Good on one side, Will on one side. Space framing, architecture, very, very cool, very Austin. See what we can find. Ooh, that AC feels good. Yeah, dude. I think if I lock it up, I can choose the shipping. It's 30 it's by 32. Yeah. Oh. And they're in perfect condition. Is that modern tag? Yeah, these are modern. Oh. Three of them in a row might make it I worth it. Like are you gonna bucks. swing on it? No, I don't like the eighteen dollar thing. That's too Shane much. might. I'll hold him for Shane. Okay, cool. Yeah, See if Shane know, wants to do it. Right. Yeah, they they definitely mark them up, but just the fact that it's here is cool. 
I'll hold them so on. The bins have ruined me because I know I can get stuff for cheap. Yeah, there. by the pound. I mean, Never heard of Alturo. <laughs> Feels pretty decent. It is nice. It's an interesting photo bag. Yes, all day. 20 bucks. I'm gonna grab these. These are super quality. These are Audi. This is gonna be like a hundred dollar find. I dub thee the king of Quicksilver. Oh. That's like the third the third uh, board shorts you found. Oh, Those yeah. are super modern looking. Yeah, they, yeah, they got they got a holy pocket over here. Gaunt Knock off Sport. Polo Sport. Oh, Gaunt, Gaunt Sport. Sport. Octagon Lululemon. How much do they want for him? 20 bucks. 20 a piece. Would that be worth it? No if you were to wear it, but the, that's back when like over the knees was popular. Yeah. The style those is completely. Would, those would probably be like yeah, the style is completely shifted. They're still here. Knockoffs. I don't know. Goodwill. Why are you allowed to sell fake knockoffs? I'm grabbing the camera bag, the roof racks, and three pairs of pants. Yeah. All right. Just spent eighty-six fifty-six. Going to a good cause though. Absolutely. Thank you. This is the most I've copped like all trip. If you can see, we just got to Taco Deli, but I'm gonna be listing the roof racks on eBay or on Facebook Marketplace while everyone else eats. You know that it came with the key that goes with it. So that locks it down like that onto the roof rack and it's a proprietary key. It makes it so you can't steal them, very cool. It's got the Audi logo. These are like 440 OEM. I'll probably get 150-ish. I got installation instructions and I got some sort of grippy roof things. So very, very good deal for 20 bucks. Snap some pictures. I'm actually gonna list it inside Taco Deli on my phone on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Double listed. Hopefully it sells within two days because I leave Austin in two days. And I actually haven't had any no hits on the Brompton, surprisingly. It's not really an Austin bike. It's more of a commuter bike. A city like New York or Boston where people are using trains, trains and buses, <laughs> that sort of thing. So. Austin might not have been the market for it. it like Tacos are good. A vintage looking Burton. Is it a powder board? What is it? Yeah. Show me. This is super sick. Are you buying it or selling it? Okay, vintage Burton PJ5. Oh man. Oh my god. Look at those colors. Pretty clean. Beautiful. Yeah, dude. Beautiful, beautiful. He's interested in my guides. And so I'm gonna give him all four of my guides for this board right here. E products? <laughs> Those guys will make you thousands of dollars. So he's trading e-products for physical products. Look at these bindings. Months later, Beautiful. Rich Thorny goes, hey, Shh. I know you really want the board. So Taco Deli Squad has gotten bigger and bigger. I think we're all the way down there. I'm pointing at Cleeter. Us. Yeah, oh, Q came. We got like five or six tables here. Some pups. All right, we just left Taco Deli. We're dropping off Oliver and Aaron. Wait, are you all are done done? Are you all done done done? You're done done done? You're flying back? Oh, dang, let me get out. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice shirt. Hi, guys. All right, they were super cool. Yeah. They came from New York, first time a green room event, which is awesome. So thank you, Oliver and Aaron, for coming. We had a blast. Yeah, awesome. Back at the house, Chris is learning about Instagram stories. He is loving it. Instagram's cool. What's up, Austin? All right, we're going to go find Mr. Steve Rican. But he's taking a nap. A video of him napping. Shh. He's not in here. Crap. Where's he at? Where's Steve? Where's Steve? Not in the bathroom. It's not in the office. It's not over here. I wonder if he's in the garage. Dude, he's in the garage. I thought I thought you were gonna be napping. You freaking in the garage getting a workout in. Try it. Complete opposite. All right. This is what Steve Rakin listens to when he works out. But this is my power brick. Dude, he, he is constantly connected to my power brick. He can't supply his own power. And he's freaking getting shredded in the gym. Want to come out and play? <laughs> he's getting shredded. Getting swole! Alright, Chris, I think it's a go he's going to be meeting up with some dude on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace to get this Bozu ball that we got garage selling a week ago. Exactly a week ago, actually. And this guy is Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein out. So one thing you might see like hippy dippy people do is they have like bike racks or back windows. They put stickers all over it from like places they've been. So this is like Chris and Whitney's like little collection. Yeti Austin, da 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 da. I'm gonna sneak Matt's VW life on here somewhere. Did you check out my phone by accident? Not me, no. VW Life. These are some high quality stickers. Yeah, call my phone. See if Chris notices. Hey, can you open my cool. car? Pretty cool. 
And Steve lost his phone. I don't have your number. I literally just had it for one second. So this is all the people that came to Garage Sale Caravan. 28 people. That's, is that the first time we've done a group picture like that? We always usually just go because we're all worried about making money. <laughs> instead, of, instead of spending time together. People say it's an inefficient way to go garage sailing because they're thinking just like in one term of making money, but yeah, you have fun, cool. which is, you have a lot more fun. You meet a lot more people, you learn things. It doesn't matter, you won't pick it up anyways. You meet more people and then with the whole having fun, meeting people, developing relationships is networking. And when networking can bring you, will by far beat that day of $50 or $200. What did networking bring you today? You guys might see a very cool networking deal go down within the next I couple of days. I think it's honestly the coolest deal of all. If it happens, it's not 100% sure yet, but it, it will be like a reselling history partnership, especially on YouTube and profit-wise, it'll be very cool. We just got to what, Brewtorium? Brewery time. Oh, Brewtorium, Austin, Texas. A little dirty. It's all good. So Justin sent me an Instagram message like 20 minutes ago. I guess I didn't see it in time but it's for a pair of modern Patagonia board shorts and they're like seven bucks. 5.99. or 5.99 plus tax, whatever. They're in my size, it's five minutes away, so we're gonna go grab them right now. Is that a Yari? It's a Ferrari. A Yari Ferrari? A Yari Ferrari. So we yes. grab Patagonia shorts, 32, Everyone, All my friends keep raving cool. about Dragon Ball Z, I haven't read it. I, oh, it's a show. Was, yeah, this one's mine. Um, I watched them in uh, graduate school and it was good. So Dragon you got into Death Note? Oh no, I love Death Note. Yeah, that's, that's where I started anime. with Death Note. I wasn't crazy toward, about the show towards the end, just because they killed off now. Anyways, care, awesome, guys. thank you. They're pilled on the butt, but for beaters, or I'll send them to Mr. Hypodelic to turn them into a dope five panel hat, because all these colors are sick. And we're back, I got the shorts. Here is the brewery. I have a Robert Graham. Graham. Check out that head. Oh, yeah. Allie's hooking up a live giveaway with some Rally Roots. We got the flat bill embossed or the dad hat. We're gonna do a little giveaway. I check my mail every time with this keychain. Thirteen. Winner! That was fun! They're signing it. Scott's gonna give it away on his channel for charity. So, I don't know when that's gonna go down, but make sure you keep looking. One week. It's gotta go in the next couple weeks because I'm driving to Vegas. All right, so whenever he does it, I'll post on Instagram, everything for the charity. Yeah, that's awesome. So you'll be able to win or auction or whatever. A sign, hat, and 100% proceeds go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. All right, Harlan grabbed these from, he copped these from a yard sale. What'd you pay, 40? 20. 20 bucks. This being in the box, this mint, the original box, origin, this is the one I had as a kid with the original Sonic. The first one that was a bundle in the box, in a beautiful box that's not yeah, beaten up. Nice. We'll make this easily over a bill, and then you just throw everything in. Because the games themselves aren't worth that much. My guess is this one's probably worth the most out of the three. Beautiful Genesis. Why are you finding guys finding all these old consoles in box? The same yard sale had the Nintendo 64 in box. In box. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Wow. And then Scott found the Nintendo NES in box for a dollar. The guy that owned this had so much pride that he in ownership that he, he still had left the box. it so beautiful. That's amazing. And the, anything that's of the era, like someone would buy just the box. I'm sure. I had one of these. Yeah, it's I had best, the same one. It's the best this is reminding best me Christmas. My wife this is reminding it. me Christmas with my brothers. Harlan hasn't even opened it yet. There's the console. Oh my God. We got any more games in here? Oh my gosh, you got, got the controller in the box. In the box. Holy wow, nope. very cool. Super score. Please join the 16-bit revolution. So we copped a Joe versus the Avocado Bowl for $10.75. $4 added chicken, but this thing looks absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> it's vegan. 100% vegan without chicken. It's like, look at that. Yeah. It's like a whole avocado in here. It's a quarter of an avocado there, quarter of an avocado there, quarter there, and there's probably, my guess is there's a quarter of an avocado there. <laughs> right, me and Shane, we're gonna be hitting tennis at a park near the brewery. We snuck away, because he actually brought tennis rackets and tennis balls from Phoenix 
to play, so it'd be a shame if we didn't at least hit around a little bit. My favorite part, which is the cracking of the tennis balls, but they are brand new balls. We were using vintage rackets. I got a Pro Kenex Graphite Dominator. <laughs> I hope I can break the strings. That'd be pretty cool. And we did bring our tennis shoes. <laughs> Probably only played for like 20 minutes, but we have an incredible sweat going on. It is hot out here. All right, we went back to the brewery after tennis. Now we're leaving. That was the interview. Good, did a bunch of them. We're like always going to this place because Steve always wants to go. He's gonna own one one day. <laughs> Should just open up one. Yeah, open up one in Connecticut. Posy vibes blend well. Oh, oh that was a sick oh. view. I got the spinach, same one Wonder Shows them. Wonder Shows them. So we have jackfruit from the Asian Mart. Mm. Hi babies, I didn't even say hey to you. Babe, you didn't say hey to him either. <laughs> Look at that, jackfruit. Mm. Gets you jacked. Oh my God. Something really interesting just happened about the bozu ball. Chris left it there in the corner. He did one of those under the mat. Slip your 40 bucks under the mat. Yeah. And the guy did it. There are honest people still and left. I overheard the conversation and I looked under there and I found it and man, people are honest around yeah. here. Yeah. Cool. The honest culture is coming back. FPP, front porch pickup. <laughs> We just got to Gordo's. We've been here many years ago, probably multiple, multiple years. This place, it's called Gordo's. It's like play on words of the name Gordo, but it's Gordo. And it's dough nuts. So there's a little bit more of a explanation. Gordo, it's punny, big fat donuts. And they have cornhole or donut hole. Yeah. Giant Jenga. And they got a little stage. Look at all of those donuts. That's... How many calories do you think that is? <laughs> you went with maple bacon? That's what I did. I got a flying pig maple bacon. Mm. Oh! It's a durable camera. What are you taking a picture of? Taking a picture of you, taking a stand in the window. Keeping like a peeping Tom. Peeping Tom. Hand, it's your hand in, Harlan. Oh, that's sick. Oh, there's, the, there's the bearded picker. The bearded picker cookie. Oh, these are all like uh, 3D printed from a fan. Yeah, and then she was, there was, the, uh, these are from my wife, because oh, wow. I'm in Alabama and the other ones say roll tide. That's sweet. Dude, this looks like it came really nice to meet you. Pleasure, dude. Stop it. Oh, no. I told you. We'll see ya. All right, it's winding down. Obviously, I reckon. And that is the end of the meetup. Thanks to everyone who came from near and far. We do appreciate it. I hope everyone had fun and created a lot of really good memories. Thunder is thundering. Thanks everybody again for watching. I hope you got some sort of green room meetup experience in Austin, Texas. Until next time, next year. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.